Tonight claims Campbell Newman's plan to fix our transport problems will bankrupt Brisbane. The attempted abduction of a five-year-old girl at Southbank. Beaches packed and dangerous for a scorcher of a Sunday. And a surprise reunion for a Brisbane man and the dog that saved his life. This is 7 News with Sharon Gadella. Good evening, Brisbane Lord Mayor Campbell New. Tonight in 7 News flashback, the power disputes that crippled Queensland. The fierce battles between unions and Joe Bjorki Peterson raged throughout the 1980s and left ordinary Queenslanders in the dark. Good afternoon, Tony Davenport from the Secret Control Centre for 7 National News. I'm here tonight because Queensland is in the grip of its worst ever power strike. The blackouts hit regularly, catching Queenslanders off guard. It's not been possible to give people who depend on electricity uh, adequate notice. Uh, for instance, dialysis machines, uh, life support systems, a water supply and sewerage installations. The dispute started in the power stations. Power had to be rationed throughout the state. Power blokes were a bit greedy and uh, they should think of the public a lot more. Customers shopped by gas or torchlight. Stock perished and food outlets couldn't cook. Except those with gas who thumbed their nose at the dispute. With no power, petrol couldn't be pumped. Hospitals were disrupted and dialysis patients suffered. Traffic lights were useless. Police manned main intersections. There were even deaths as vehicles collided at major intersections. Industry also shut. Employees were stood down. We're losing, like, 45, 50 bucks a day. Yeah, that, that's part of, like, that's a week's rent anyway, isn't it? Everybody stood down, and we're losing money, heaps. In homes, residents resorted to candles. There were house fires as they were knocked over. And when the power was switched back on, power surges destroyed more homes. Where's it going to end? 30 minutes and that... You tell me, where is it going to end? Between 1981 and 1985, the dispute escalated with more power unions joining the battle. From coal handlers to the Seacreb linesmen, Queenslanders grew weary of industrial action. Power strikes, rail strikes, milk strikes, so they went on strike. We had enough! We had enough! Thousands of ordinary citizens marched in Brisbane, clashing with union supporters. Only one union official braved the crowd. Rail boss Peter Beattie. He was booed off stage. What started as an argument over pay, contract labour and conditions ended in an ugly war between unions and Sir Joe over the right to strike. The battle complete with propaganda broadcast on television. Here's the Premier of Queensland, Sir Joe Bjorki Peterson. At risk is our whole system of industrial democracy. Sequeb workers said, sack us, you'll never replace us. Joe did, backed by a fed up public. Today, the bitter wounds of that dispute continue and strikes and essential services are now a thing of the past. The Queensland power dispute contributed to a decline in union power that is still felt today. Sharon, I think it's going to be a very restless night ahead. It sounds like it. Thanks, Talitha. And that's all for now. Join us tomorrow night as we reveal the results of the 7 News online survey into the big issues facing the region. Tomorrow night we look at the water crisis and we hear the opinions of people in South East Queensland. Until then, from all of us here at 7 News, good night.